Please welcome our next presenter, Chairman of the American Theater Wing, David Henry Wong. Some people think that being brilliant on stage means being loud and calling attention to yourself. But this year, one of the most brilliant performances New York saw was also one of the quietest. Elegantly turned, immaculately nuanced, beautifully tinged with irony. But that wasn't all. Under the quietness, there was a fury waiting to be unleashed. And when the character needed that fury, the actor rose to it unforgettably. For his superbly sustained performance as Peter in Albie's At Home at the Zoo, the judges have voted an Obie to Robert Sean Leonard. <laughs> Uh, thank you very, very much. This is incredibly, um, in incredibly meaningful to me. I started um, as well with Joseph Papp uh, 35 years ago at the Public Theater when I was 14, and I've worked in uh, there are many, many off-Broadway houses, and Signature is a wonderful one, and Paige Evans and the great family there was very kind to me. Katie Finneran and Paul Sparks were my two co-actors in both plays, um, and I... People say that reacting is harder than acting, and my role, if you know uh, the zoo story at all or the other play um, that begins the evening, uh, I listen throughout most of the evening, uh, and that's crap. It's, mu it's much easier to be the one who just listens. <laughs> Paul and Katie did almost all the work, uh, and I don't quite know why people liked what I did, but I'm very excited that they liked the evening because I think it would have meant a lot to Edward Albee, who. I'm not sure I would have liked in person from what I've read, but <laughs> I adore his, uh, his work, and um, it's an honor to be um, a, a, a part of it, and certainly a great honor to be, to be um, here tonight. So thank, every, thank you, everyone, American Theatre Wing and Village Voice and everyone, and uh, have a great night. Thanks. <laughs> 